Hi, this is Jenny with Simply Beautiful Crafts on behalf of Expert Village, and today we're going to make a picture frame for that very special canine member of the family. There are many different ways you could make a picture frame like this, but I was absolutely captivated with these darling little spools of thread that I found in the craft store. You can also find them in your fabric store, and this one had little paw prints all over it. I also found sets of buttons in the craft store. This one has a set that says Woof and Love That Dog, a Fire Hydrant, and all kinds of things with it. Perhaps one of your biggest challenges is to decide exactly what you do want to put on your wreath. The first thing you want to do, or your picture frame, is to weave your ribbon through your picture frame. You want to start from behind, come up and cover a joint. You're going to go all the way around your wreath, putting your ribbon through one side and out the other. You want to make sure that it stays straight, especially if it's a, a ribbon that has been printed just on one side. Once you get all the way around your wreath or your picture frame, and you have your ribbon just exactly as it should be, you're going to want to secure that ribbon. Turn your picture frame over, lay a bead of hot glue in the seam, press the very end of your ribbon into that until it's cool, clip it off if you need to, and do that to the other side. Once you've secured your ribbon through your wreath, you're ready to decide what you want to do to embellish it. As you can see, I chose to put some of these little paw prints and some of the dog bones around. Play with it, move it around, decide how you like it, and get that balance that you want. When you have that set, you can either put your hot glue on the back of your button or your plastic piece, or right on your pretzel, and let it sit for just a second, and it's very secure. When you've gotten to that point, if you want to make a picture frame from this, Choose a piece of oak board or tag board or even a piece of 3 by 5 card. Find something that fits or cut it to fit. I like to trim the corners and just secure it at the bottom or on one side so that it's loose and you can slip a picture inside it. The last thing I did was to make a bow. It's just a simple one loop bow and put a little embellishment in the middle of it. And then take some more of the ribbon to make a hanger so that you can hang this picture frame with your very special canine family member.